had a few questions about the electrical system and what I've done there with the solar panel, the mains hookup and the 24 volt to 12 volt battery charger. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a look at, at those things. Not very in depth really because wires are wires but these are the bits that I've put in. The electrical installation just behind the driver's seat, that's actually dead space. I was always going to put the electrics there because well, they're quite easy to get at but they're also out of the way most of the time. This is the main fuse panel where we've got a little homemade uh, bus bar here and uh, fuses that go to the various locations in the truck for various things. Below that is a solar charge controller. And if we can see that, what that's showing today, probably not, it's a bit bright. So that's just from the panel to the uh, battery. Below that is a mains hookup leisure battery charger and below that which is the pink thing below that is the um, 24 volt to 12 volt battery uh, charger. You need the 24 volt to 12 volt battery charger because the truck is uh, 24 volt. This side of the board is the mains hookup that goes into a consumer unit and then a bit further up mains in the middle 12 volt socket running off of that that cable black wire goes up there to a little distribution unit which has got I think three three other sockets on the top and some USBs on the top here and on the side quite like this little uh, adapter because it's got a you can see there there's a switch to switch on the 12 volts so on off so it kills it completely little modification here with a few knobs on the front makes it easy to access this uh, fuse panel just pop the seat forward There it all is with the seat back in place. You can see what you need to see and the bits you don't hidden away. This waterproof box here has got a kill switch in it. I decided I'd put that in um, for my diesel heater. The kill switch really isn't necessary for the diesel heater but this is just to turn it off completely. Won't need it for six or eight months of the summer so may as well shut it off completely rather than have the little LCD running and uh, the potential for it to decide to switch itself on. I've installed my diesel heater under the floor, used a T5 bracket to bolt it to the chassis and the heater mounted sideways with one hose coming off and uh, following its way up there and through the floor of the truck. There's the exhaust running back to a silencer and then I just made a small tailpipe for that to blow the exhaust gas down rather than horizontal, probably blow all over the place anyway. There's the pump and the filter above the diesel heater tucked into the chassis. Here's a diesel tank for the heater, got red diesel in there and I fitted a siphon on the tank because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to leak from the bottom. So I bought a little siphon, drilled a hole and fitted it in the top layer. Diesel pipe is all run in uh, fill pipe as well, I just wanted it to be tidy and uh, protected. It runs all the way like that to the, to the diesel heater underneath. It's one of the lights got this one in uh, France I think refurbished it, it's Italian got a bit of conduit switch LED bulb 12 volts 